Hello, my name is John. I work for Robert White Photographic, and today I'd like to show you the Shenhao TZ 452B. This simple wooden folding field camera, um, we've been doing it for a great deal of time, and it works very, very well. It's uh, good for beginners as well as uh, more advanced large format users. Uh, I've decided to show you it in its close form just to, so you can see how easy it is to open. On the front here we have a small catch. Just simply undo the catch. Uh, one of the knobs on either side which controls the, the back movement, undo those and the camera just simply opens up. You can go back because it will give you a back tilt and then it will go into a zero detent so it's up straight. You just simply lock those into position. The front standard simply pushes forward and flips up and when it flips up it will also go into a zero position and you can pull this up uh, and it's difficult to see from, from behind but you can get that to a zero so everything's set in neutral point. As you can see very very simple the camera has a good deal of front movements which are controlled by this knob here which will allow you to bring the camera front standard forward or backwards depending on your focal length. You can also put in swing mechanism in here as well. This knob here by flicking it over locks into whatever position. Obviously for ease I'm going to keep it in the zero position for now. The front standard has rise and fall. Just a simple push-pull mechanism here and a graded scale on the side. And it also has, by unlocking these, base tilt both front and back. And it will actually go back into a zero detent. The rear of the camera is very simple. You undo these two knobs here and you have rear rise. Which again you can just simply lock into whichever position you wish. Like so. And also by undoing this part here, you can have rear swing as well. Now, obviously as I set up here, the bellows are a little compressed. So it's not aiding me with the movements, which brings me on to the fact that the camera will also take wide angle bellows. It's fully interchangeable, so if you don't use wide lenses you can do so. Um, it's a simple case for catches uh, front and back. I'll do this so I can get it out a little bit further. You may see on the camera you have a little catch here which you take off and the bellows can be replaced with a set of wide angle versions. If you want to use this with wide lenses, you may have picked up already, if you undo these screws here, you can push the front, the rear of the camera towards the front. This means that you can get the standard very, very close. And again, it would work better with the wide angle bellows, which are sold separately. And the focus knob, this is a lock, and this will give you your rack and pinion focusing however you wish. Now, with this set up to its minimum, you could easily get a 90mm lens on there. Um, it takes a Linhoff Technica style or Wister or an ebony type panel um, and we also do them by Walker and Shenhao make their own as well, very inexpensive. Uh, you can also put a recessed lens panel on here which means you get about a 75 uh, wide angle on there as well. Um, just to show you the back of the camera, you have a traditional 5x4 spring loaded back. Uh, with a ground glass screen. Now the camera has exactly the same fitting screen as the ebony. So if you would prefer a super bright screen, we can supply uh, an ebony 5.4 uh, focusing screen with cover glass, which will fit it, give you increased uh, brightness, especially if you want to use wide angle lenses. So that's quite a nice feature. You can also rotate the back from its, as it comes in its landscape format to portrait by simply undoing the sliders on the top. The back simply comes out like so, rotates, goes into the clips at the bottom and snaps into position. Again, it's not something you should do from looking at the front of the camera. And hey presto, we're now shooting in a landscape uh, portrait format. If you're a roll film holder user, you want to use 612, 69 or 6.7, we do some horseman roll film hacks, which use the International Graph Lock, you can remove the ground glass screen by pressing in on the spring arms and sliding it, and this comes off. You can put a roll film holder in place, and these sliders here will clamp it in, into position. So in this one form, you can shoot everything from 6.7, 6.9, 6.12, and of course 5.4 sheet film. 
It will also take uh, the quick load system, slides in like a regular dark slide. Um, so you give a, a, a good range of film uses in the one camera body. Um, I hope this has been informative. Um, this is one of many of the models that we do. And uh, we hope uh, that if you need any information, you can come to our website. We've got lots of information there. Or you can always email us at sales at robertwhite.co.uk. We're always happy to answer any questions you have. Um, but for further news or any help, uh, please look at www.robertwhite.co.uk. Thank you very much.